Hey Logo Designers, this is Michael from Logo Package, and today I'm sharing another devlog update for Logo Package Forge. If this is your first time hearing about Logo Package Forge, it is an extension for Adobe Illustrator that will bring you font management directly into Illustrator, as well as allowing you to rapidly prototype logo concepts. Today I wanted to show off the progress we've made on logo type generation. But first, a quick overview of the features that have already been developed. So we have in the extension window a full list of all of the fonts on our system, and we get nice previews of all of those fonts. We can then create sets of fonts that will be basically groups or folders that hold fonts that we are collecting for certain similarities or uses. And we can also hide fonts that we don't ever really want to use, and we can favorite fonts that we like to use all the time. So now onto the progress we've made with Logotype. So we can come up to this Logotype tab here, and we can go over and see the Logotype settings. So I've already gone through and explained this UI in previous videos, but basically we have text alignment, we have um, tracking, which is the amount of spacing between letters across an entire line of type, and then we have a gap setting, which uh, I'm not going to explain at the moment. Now we can enter in any text that we want and get that text rendered in all of the fonts from one of our sets. And this is the functionality that we uh, have built, which I wanted to share today. So I'm just going to put in a crazy word that shows off a lot of different features of a typeface. And you can see that all of our previews here have updated to show the words that we have typed in. And now what I'm going to do is you can see at the bottom here, it says, please enter logo type text and select a font set to get started. And we have entered in our type, but we haven't chosen a font set. Font sets need to be created by the user. They can't be um, all fonts, favorites, or hidden fonts. So I've created three test sets here. One I call new school, which has basically sans serif fonts and an old school set which has serif fonts and then like a handwritten set which has sort of these handwritten fonts. So what I'm going to do is now that I have the word entered and a set selected I will click make logos. So you can see now that we have a single column with all of the typefaces from the new school set displaying the word from our type input field. And if we go in and look, we can see that these fonts are, for the most part, nicely centered. Obviously, we're still um, in development here, but they're intended to be centered in the artboard. And we also have a nice label, which tells you what the font is without you having to go in and click on it to get that information. But we can quickly preview this word or line of type in all of these different typefaces. Now, if we have some changes that we want to make to what we're, we are seeing, or we have another set that we would like to look at, um, we simply update the settings and we make logos again. So in this case, maybe I wanna see hamburger fonts in all caps, so I will type that word in all caps. And then maybe I wanna see it in the old school set. So now I'll set, select the old school set and click make logos. And now it's going to go through that process again, but with our new settings and the logos are going to be generated next to our first column of type so that we can quickly compare the changes that we've made. So now we can zoom in again and we can take a look at the completely different set and we have a different casing for the font and we're starting to really get a sense of how we might want to display this word. If this were a logo type, which style do we want to go with? This old school style, this new school style. And lastly, um, we can do multiple lines of type and we still have a lot of work to do on this feature, but I'm going to show you the progress that we've made so far. So I'll add another type line. And in fact, I'm gonna add two type lines. 
So I'm just going to put in random words like hamburger patties for life. Doesn't really matter. Um, but I can put in multiple type lines. And now if I go to my final set here, handwritten, and click make logos, what we're going to see is all of these individual lines of type rendered and then um, stacked up in all of the fonts from the handwritten set. So there were less fonts in the handwritten set and so we don't have uh, as many in the column. But you can see that we have stacked up all of the lines of text. They're all individual uh, separate lines of text as well. And eventually we will be able to add spacing. That's this gap setting between these. We'll also be able to um, stack lines of type horizontally. So you will be able to do font pairing where you can see what one font looks like next to another. But these settings are all upcoming. And this is the progress that we have made so far. I think one other thing I'd like to show is just the concept that we can use these different lines of type to see multiple casing for the same word. So instead of having hamburger patties for life, maybe what I'll do is I'll have a all caps hamburger fonds. I will have a title case hamburger fonts, and I'll have an all lowercase hamburger fonts, and I'll choose the new school set. So now when I make logos, I'm using these lines as a way to sort of see all of the different casing styles. And maybe from there, I can further refine, pick the one that I like the most, and generate just those logo types to choose from. But this is another interesting way to use the logo type generation to generate as much variety as you want very quickly. And overall, the goal here is just to sort of sketch and prototype and rapidly iterate to get a sense for the look and feel of your logo. So that's the progress that we've made with the logo type settings. And I hope that you are as excited as I am about the possibilities that this extension is going to bring uh, in terms of speeding up your workflow at the beginning of a logo design process. Thank you for watching.